Welcome back. This one's hard to believe. The beginning of the next school year is just around the corner. And for many parents, finding something for their children to do after school can be a daunting task. That's why the city of Albuquerque offers both before and after school programs at their community centers for the kiddos. Joining us now from the city to talk more about how you can get your child signed up today is Community Services Division Manager Kristen Chavez-Smith. Kristen, it is great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's already around the corner. It is next already month. around the corner. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's get into it then because, uh, you know, we want to make sure that parents know that these programs are available. How long have they been around? So we've been doing these programs for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, community we have 22 community centers throughout the city of Albuquerque. All of our programs are free. So we're actually wrapping up summer right now, this week and wow. next week. But um, you know, school starts in two weeks, if you can believe it. Oh, <laughs> so we are ready for registration starting on Monday. Wow, so we have all those wonderful programs. Uh, so they start Monday, uh, right? Registration, registration starts, starts Monday. Monday. Okay, yes. yeah. So we have time to still get the kids signed up. How many spaces do you have available? So it depends on the community center and um, whether or not they're transporting from the school. Okay. So um, I just highly advise to get on, on the website. So play.cabq.gov is where we do all of our registrations. And you can you can see um, what will become available on Monday. Okay. Um, they fill up pretty fast, so we do encourage parents to get on pretty early on okay. Monday to, if you really need a spot. Yeah, exactly, and because you do not want to miss out because once they're filled, that's it, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll have a wait list, and we really try to pull from the wait list as often as okay. we can. Um, we really want to serve as many families, as many kids as we can. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they are limited spots, so so we want to encourage parents just to get on and, and register. Yeah. What, what type of activities are offered for the kids? Yeah, so we do all sorts of activities. So one of the coolest things we do at community centers is a hot meal program. So oh, nice. every kid gets a hot meal after school. Um, we do arts and crafts and sports. We have homework help at every single community center. So really just like diverse activities for everyone. Yeah. Speaking of activities, we have something going on for the teens, right? Yeah, so we're continuing with our teen nights. So teen nights are going through September. Oh, cool. But tonight we'll be at the chemo theater. It's free. We're showing Iron Man. Doors open at six. Um, we will close them at seven with the start of the movie, but it's free ages 12 to 19, um, free snacks, prizes, all sorts of fun stuff tonight. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, so again, uh, to recap for everybody, registration begins Monday. The program officially starts when? With, with the start of APS schools. Okay, so once school kicks off, it kicks in? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, so for anybody out there right now saying, I want to get my kids to sign up for this, uh, locations, where to do it in the cost? Yeah, so everything's online. Okay. So you would register at play cabq.gov. Okay. The cost is free for community centers. Okay. We also have other uh, programs available at the same website with a low cost associated with them. Those are at the elementary schools, so okay. check that out as well. Um, but to find out more information on, on youth programs in general, I would encourage everyone to go to cabq.gov slash youth connect. Okay. That has every department's information with all sorts of youth activities. Very cool. Kristen, thank you so much for we appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks for having me. All right. And again, you can find out more information later on this morning as well as a recap of this interview and all the information that Kristen mentioned. You can find that always on krqe.com.